Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all you guys doing? I hope that all you guys are doing well. Let's go ahead and jump into um, the love portion of the reading. You guys, I will, I will be um, re, re doing a redraw for last week's um, winner because she never came forward. So um, when I get up in the morning, you guys be on the lookout for that okay that's going to be the first thing i do before i post a reading or anything okay all right let's start with some messages from your spirit guides before we jump into the love portion of the reading if you're new here welcome to our soul family you guys and if you're returning um, thank you for all of your continued love and support all right, universe, ancestors, Holy Spirit, divine family, galactic beings, go ahead and give me messages from the collective spirit guides. All right, what do they need to hear the most right now? adrift it says letting go allowing a higher source to take charge for a time look at this look at this um, mermaid energy here some of you guys may uh resonate with yemiya um but you guys spirit is requesting that you guys release control i know we've been talking about this a lot lately releasing control over a situation trying not to um be in control over your present circumstances, you know. So whatever is going on, whether it's in your love life, um, family, friends, career, you know, whatever is going on in your life currently that you feel is affecting you in a negative way and and you just want to control the situation, um, they're requesting that you guys release control um look at she's pretty much drifting floating in this water water represents emotion you guys so they just want you guys to relax in your emotions okay just relax a lot of you guys some of you guys may suffer from um anxiety so it, it's really hard for you to um cope especially when when things are chaotic around your life Give me one more. Or maybe you have like a lot of chaotic energy around you and you being an empath or suffering from anxiety, it makes it hard for you to relax. But if you don't relax, you're going to sink. If she tents up, she's going to sink under this water. So it's important that you relax and allow allow these emotions to, you know, to, to take you. Allow spirit to guide you. Give me one more. under the deck it says endurance keep going it's okay so once you get through this grieving period i feel like i feel like you guys have suffered through or currently going through a grieving period right now um they're wanting you to know that you're going to be able to push through you're going to endure this and you're going to keep going yeah motherhood is here protection inner child and nurture so i feel like a lot of you guys may be expecting some of you guys may be expecting um you will have a protected pregnancy some of you guys you're having a um a boy this is someone specifically that's having a boy that's concerned about having a miscarriage or um just protecting your your pregnancy overall others of you guys this is a new beginning because babies also represent new beginnings, you guys. So you guys are in the energy of protecting this new beginning, okay? Protecting your inner child as well. You may suffer from um, inner childhood trauma, old wounds that need to be revisited so that they could, you could heal those. But spirit is requesting that you guys cradle yourself, nurture yourself, be gentle, your, be gentle with yourself, just like this um, feminine energy is being gentle with this baby. All right. Now let's go ahead and tap into the love portion of the reading, you guys. All right. 
here. Go ahead and give me the overall energy for um, my collective and the person that they are dealing with. The overall energy for my collective and the person that they are dealing with. Ooh, opposites attract. So you guys need the opposite from each other um, emotionally or opposites from each other. Like your zodiacs may be opposites. So one of you guys may be a Leo. The other one may be an Aquarius. You guys may sit like total opposite on the zodiac chart from each other. Or this just could be the energy. You know, um, there's an angel and a little devil here. So one of you guys may be a light worker and the other person is struggling with their shadow side, okay? But you guys are in love. I, how is that working out? How is that working out, okay? <laughs> Protection is here again. So look, when I tell you that spirit is protecting you guys or you need to ramp up your protection, doing your return back to senders, your protection rituals and things of that nature, taking your seesaw baths, you need to do that, okay? Whatever negative energy is being sent to you will be sent back tenfold. Yeah, still hope. So I feel like both of you guys are energetically holding out hope that you guys are going to be able to come together to pull this together. Let me say this. I feel like this is this is like some forbidden love type of situation. Reason why I'm saying that is because there's an angel and a little demon here. So it's just kind of like you guys are from two different worlds with this person. You know, from this person, two different worlds. You may be more on the spiritual side because, you know, she is on the side of the cross, you know. I don't know. I just feel like. There's going to be some type of crossing over. Um, this person's going to have to come over to your world because there's no way you're going to go over to, you know, the dark side. You're not going to you're not going to go over into this person's um, lower vibrational world. So this person is working on, on raising their vibration, raising their frequency in order to share your world with you. So this is this means this person is going to have to undergo some type of spiritual awakening. Yeah, they're going to have to turn in their little devil horns for some wings. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Oh, wow. The song on the run, J and B. Jay-Z and Beyonce just came to mind when he said, if I go to heaven, if I go, if you go to heaven and they bring me to hell, sneak out and meet me and bring me a box of L's. So this is pretty much going with the theme of this reading. You're like an earth angel and this person is, would be considered like a devil energy. <laughs> uh, divine guidance. So I feel like this person is being guided back to you this whoever this energy is they have they have already been talking to spirit about this they've been talking to source they've been talking to god you know what i'm saying they've been they've been having this discussion with spirit about you this connection having some type of new beginning with you all right what else spirit Yeah, yeah, because it's now or never. This person feel like they're not going to get another chance. They feel like they're not going to get another chance with you if they don't make this decision, if they don't do what they need to do now, that they're not going to get another opportunity. Seeking guidance. So this person may be getting spirit, may be getting um, readings on you. Some of you guys, you may be tarot card readers. I'm really leaning strongly towards you guys getting readings on each other. If you are spiritual in any type of way, or especially, especially if you read tarot, this person has gotten a reading on you. Okay. They definitely received a reading on you. This person keeps getting reminders from spirit about you. Wait a minute. 
Let me pick up this card. Yeah. Spirit keeps reminding this person. They keep reminding this person about you. They can't forget. This person is also watching you energetically too. I feel this way. You know, even though I know this is a protective um, evil, not evil eye, all seeing eye, this person, it's like, I feel like that they watch you spiritually. They, they tap into your energy and they watch you. Others, others of you guys, they could have paid somebody to do this, but I just really see you guys sharing some type of spiritual bond together where this person is able to tap into your energy. Look at that. Can't stop thinking of you. This is why this person can't get love off their mind right now. And returning. Yeah, this person is going to be making some type of return in your life, even though they're acting cold. This person is acting cold. They're acting distant like they don't care. But to be truthful and honest with you, this person is very much stressed out because you guys are not in each other's life. Which I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clarify, see what caused the separation and what is keeping this person from you, right? But both you guys are still in love with each other, and that's just it. <laughs> that's just the tea. You both you guys are still in love. And look, this person's gonna surprise you. For some of you guys, it's an actual gift, but for others of you guys, this person is gonna surprise you. They're gonna pop up on you to come see you. Like they're gonna pop up and ask you to see you. That's going to be a big surprise, especially if you hadn't seen this person in a long time. For some of you guys, you ain't seen this person in a long time, you know. DMs and, and double tap likes. So this person may be watching you on Instagram. That's how they keep tabs on you, watching you. This person may DM you if you have them blocked. So they may DM you on Instagram or something like that. Both acting like brats. <laughs> so Spirit is saying both y'all acting like brats. Both y'all want to be together again, but both y'all being like acting like kids about it, being stubborn about the situation, you know? So it's going to take some compromise, some equal give and take from both you guys. Dreams is here. So I feel like both you guys communicate in the dream realm. Both you guys can communicate in the spiritual realm together. So that's beautiful. All right. Let me go and see. Spirit, what happened? Why, uh, what caused this separation between them? What orchestrated the separation between um, this particular group and the person that they are here inquiring about? What caused the separation, Holy Spirit? Two of Cups, that's a soulmate. Hmm. Make this clear for me. Clarify this for me, Holy Spirit. This, <laughs> this person, this person did not offer their soulmate anything. You're their soulmate. And what caused the separation is the fact that they just simply did not offer you anything. It's simple. They didn't offer you anything. This person kept you waiting. Look how, look how this man is sitting there waiting, right? There, it, only one pinnacle fell off the tree, like, he invested all these pinnacles. He took his time. He invested. He poured in. He watered this and everything. So you could have invested in this person, watered this person with whatever they needed. And they only gave you one pinnacle after you've already poured into invested in, poured in, invested into them. They didn't give you anything in return. So I feel like that caused you guys to end the situation. You you called judgment. You made a very tough decision to end the situation with this person and to move forward. And I feel like it was really hard for you to do that. Yeah, but you you had to really, really depend on your intuition dealing with this. Why was this person so selfish? Like, why did they not give anything? Yeah, this person was stealing their night's energy. So this possibly was like a player. This person is like a player. Yeah, and they could have already been in a higher level commitment, like a marriage or a long-term relationship with somebody else. So this is why they were in and out of their life. Yeah, four ones. This person could have been married already. So that's why they didn't really give you anything. What is the status of this marriage, Holy Spirit? Yeah, three of swords. 
divorce. They, they're going to be that that marriage is ended or it's already ended. This person got their heart broken with this marriage. Yeah. And I think that because of this heartbreaking situation, how it played out with this marriage, it kind of like they wanted to be in a nice energy. They didn't want anything stable or committed because they had just got out of some type of commitment or they were getting out of some type of commitment. But I feel like this person was spiritually led. You guys were led to cross paths with each other. Yeah. You guys were led to cross paths with this person, you know? I feel like you bring so much stability into this person's life. And I just don't think that they were ready for anything stable at that moment. Yeah, this is why they were so guarded with you. This is why they were guarded with you. They were so guarded, they missed out on their blessing. God was like, here, you know, we have a gift for you. But they were so wounded from their marriage or that last relationship that they didn't even, they never gave it an opportunity. It never went anywhere. It never got off the ground. They were so guarded. This is like the wounded warriors type of energy. This person was wounded from a previous relationship before they met you, you know? Even though they view you as wish fulfillment, this person view you as a star. You shine brighter than any other star that this person's ever came across. Anybody else that they've ever came across, you shine brighter, you know? And I feel like they call some type of tower in this person's life because they've never met anybody like you. So it's kind of like right person, wrong time. You, They've never met anybody like you before. You know, you came at a time in this person's life where they were not ready to settle down, not ready to commit. They had possibly just got out of another situation, uh, a, th a three of swords, so it could have been like a cheating scandal or something like that. They just wasn't ready, you know, and it caused the wheel to turn in a bad way. It caused a lot of karma in this person's life, possibly because of the way this person handled things. Yeah. The way they handled this, they this person stayed in their head about everything. <sighs> yeah. This person could have been cold with their communication with you, not wanting to talk to you, which caused you guys to be in the King of Swords energy now. You know, look at that. Yeah, uh, the Six of Swords, this came out of this deck. I didn't even know it was in here. So the Six of Swords is here again. It talks about being spiritually guided, allowing spirit to guide you away from a situation, you know? So you guys were spiritually led out of the situation straight into this Nine of Pentacles energy, you know? This talks about being independent. You don't need anybody. This is um, reaping what you sow. So you you reap a good harvest. You you receive good karma for all your hard work and labor. So it's kind of like this person, they held back on you. They didn't give you nothing. They gave you one pinnacle. So you took that one pinnacle and you invested it into yourself. And now you're the nine of pinnacles. You see what I'm saying? So you're good. And I think this person is kind of low-key... Um, they feel some type of way about that too. I'm just gonna be real with you. Yeah, this is what this person needs to grow up. They kind of feel some type of way because you know you kind of capitalize off of the heartbreak that they took you through. They feel some type of way about this. Yeah, but they're gonna communicate with you because they can't resist you. They cannot resist you. This person is trying their hardest to. I'm sorry, my ear has started to ring. Wow, look at that. Six of Swords again. This is spirit three times here. Yeah. This person does not resist you. They're trying. They're trying to resist you, but they can't. They're going to be communicating with you. Yeah, because they, they, it's just there's no happiness in this person's life. You, you bring the sunshine in this person's life. You do this for them. They... They can't do it by themselves. You make this person happy. You know, you fulfill them. When you left this person's life, you took the light with you. Go ahead and give me some final messages for... Look at that game over. Some of y'all, you're saying it's over, Misty. I don't want this person no more. They broke my heart. I gave them an opportunity and they took me for granted. Look, put in, this person is putting on the show. 
Yeah, this person is putting on a show. They're acting like they don't want you and, you know, they're really dumb. They're not, though. This person, look, check yourself. This person, need, they need to check themselves. This makes no sense. I just heard you check off every every box they have and they're still acting crazy like they don't, you know, this person know who you are. This, this person, some, they have some fake friends that also have gave them bad advice as to what to do with this connection with you. Look at that shit, hater. I can't make this shit up. They got some fake hater ass friends that this person probably was bragging about you, especially like if you're in a spotlight or something like that, or you have a platform, you got something that's going on, you know, you have your shit together, you know, you the nine of pinnacles. So this means you independent, you good. This person was bragging about you. They could have brought you up, mentioned you to some, to some fake friends that was like secret haters that pretty much talked them, told them not to come back towards you. Gave them really, really piss poor advice as to what to do. So, they're going to have to grow up, okay? Um, all right, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you. Peace.